I, I don't even know why this is on there because you throw the balls up in the air. And good luck to you because Wolfsburg versus Heidenheim absolutely stinks unless you can find the value. And that's why my experts are here. Wolfsburg minus 160 could be a parlay piece. Uh, Heidenheim obviously going to be absolutely overjoyed with their first appearance in Bundesliga. Uh, Wolfsburg minus one at minus 101. A lot will think it's a free hit. The total is set at three, and maybe that's all Wolfsburg because the over three is at minus 105. Wolfsburg to score twice is worse than their money line at minus 170. So if you think Wolfsburg scored twice, they, they win the game. Pavlos, it's better. you might as well take the 160. Uh, yeah, well, Wolfsburg are a weird team. I'm not sure how hard, how how yeah, well they've gelled uh, so far in the season. As I said before in the show, uh, this team is capable of dropping. Uh, I, I believe they dropped what six goals to Freiburg last season in the first match of 2023. Then they beat Hertha by uh, five to nil, and then but they lose to Werder Bremen by two to one. So uh, this team is capable of so great things if they get it going. Uh, they can score like two or three quick goals on you. They have a lot of talent in there. Uh, but at some times, you know, at some point, you, you just see them and your mind goes blank because they go blank and they you, they can't really exchange two or three passes in in quick concession, you know, in quick succession. So, uh, you know, starting the season against a newly promoted side is a double-edged sword because, yes, they, they're coming from a league below and, uh, you know, they're coming to the Bundesliga where Wolfsburg are so used to playing against the strong teams. But, Heidenheim, yes, they're coming from the the Zweite Liga, but uh, they they won it. So um, they're one of the best teams in there, if not the best. So um, I tend uh, to leave these matches alone, involving uh, you know teams from the lower league, because that's, that's just me. I, I just feel scared, and because we're betting money here, uh, I believe that this is a tricky match. However, Wolfsburg, uh, you know, they're they're better at home than they are on the road traditionally all these years and starting the season with anything other than a win against a newly promoted side uh, could you know bring some uh, some trouble so I I believe that they should be able to get this done however uh, again this is one of the matches where something uh, something stinks and I, I don't really know what it is so I left it alone but uh, yeah anything other than a home win against a newly promoted side is, uh, is a disaster for any for any side so yeah I do see them winning here yeah, listen, no bet in the early games and just watching is worth its weight in gold because you're not going to uh, lose any money, but you are going to gain knowledge. Uh, Alex, it looks like the uh, newcomers can just go to Wolfsburg, punch them on the nose and test them out. Or do Wolfsburg jump all over them and crush them and say, listen, this is the big league. Yeah, I get uh, Pavlo's point uh, here, uh, um, saying that uh, they might be more relaxed, Wolfsburg, because uh, they are playing against newcomers. But at the same time, this could prove a rude awakening for uh, um, for Heidenheim regarding the amount of quality uh, that they need in order to survive in Bundesliga. Uh, we've seen... Uh, um, how other teams uh, that uh, promoted in Bundesliga did in their first weeks, uh, first months, like uh, uh, considered many goals, no, no matter the opponents, you know. Uh, so I think that uh, Niko Kovac will not uh, let this happen uh, to Wolfsburg to, to be more relaxed on the field. Uh, I think that uh, this is an important match for them. It's the season opener against a newly promoted side with not so much quality, even though they uh, they they earned the promotion to to the first uh, to the um, to the first league. Uh, but uh, the quality on the pitch, despite the injury issues that Wolfsburg might have right now, uh, should uh, be the key. Also, they are playing at home. Uh, so I think that the minus one is a free hit, in my opinion, uh, minus 160 in a parlay looks uh, also decent uh, here uh, so Wolfsburg is all about uh, um, home form uh, they averaged uh, two goals uh, scored uh, last uh, last week in front of last season in front of their fans so I think that uh, uh, two one a free one hopefully a free one maybe Heidenheim will score but again Heidenheim and Darmstadt are two teams that I will fade all season long it okay. uh, or at least the half part of the season till they will shake a little bit their head to see what is happening with us, you know, after conceding <laughs> so many goals. Because when they will go against top teams like Dortmund, like Bayer, like Leverkusen, like Leipzig, they're, uh, uh, they will concede like 
six or seven, like from each. So on the road against the, one of the uh, decent sides in uh, in uh, in the league, was second uh, uh, season at helm for uh, Niko Kovac. Uh, wonderful uh, words for for him and the tactics uh, tactics that he implemented uh, to this squad. Uh, I think that uh, Wolfsburg minus one should be the way to go. Okay, I just don't know if uh, Heidenheim are going to be a little bit like uh, Armenia Bellefeld this year. Uh, but remember, we've got Darmstadt as well. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be a very, very tricky game. I'm really interested maybe in the first half an hour because if it's nil-nil after the first half an hour, you're going to get a real feel for this game and it might be a live betting opportunity. Uh, let's have a little look at the official picks because for me, it's definitely a watching brief. I'm really looking forward to having all the screens on tomorrow morning. My electricity bill is going to go through the roof. Uh, Wolfsburg minus one, free hit says Alex at minus 101 for myself and for uh, Pavlos we're going to actually pay no money to actually gain knowledge there's no better thing uh, in Bundesliga <laughs>